So we're, um, and then another thing that we're really proud of in Florida is making sure that we're empowering parents and standing up for the rights of parents. It's very important. You know, the idea, like I have a five-year-old daughter, you know, the idea that she should be in school having things like sexuality in the curriculum is inappropriate. It is wrong. And we're not going to allow that to happen in the state of Florida. And we were right to sign the bill to protect the parents' rights. And it's not just about the curriculum. You know, we had a, uh, the, the bill we signed gives parents the right to be notified and to have control over different types of services that are provided, like health services, to students in these schools. We had a, we had a mother from uh, Leon County, and her daughter was going to school, and the, some people in the school had decided that the daughter was really a boy and not a girl. So they changed the girl's name to a boy's name, had her dress like a boy, and all, doing all this stuff without telling the mother or getting consent from the mother. First of all, they shouldn't be doing that at all. But to do these things behind the parent's back and to say that the parent should be shut out, that is wrong. And so we're going to make sure that in Florida, parents have the fundamental role in the education and well-being um, and socialization of their kids. Schools are very important, uh, but they do not supersede the rights of parents. And so I can tell you, and it's not just that. You know, we also did a bill a couple weeks ago on curriculum transparency. So as a parent, you have the right to know the curriculum that's being used um, in your kid's school. And it's kind of a compliment to the parents' rights in education. Uh, also with the library books. You know, they'll have these library books in, like, middle schools, you know, that'll have things like pedophilia and, and really grotes grotesque and obscene things. And, you know, that's just not appropriate. And so this way, parents have the right to know what's there. And if this diverts from state standards, they can raise an objection and we can get the good curriculum um, in the schools. We need to be focusing on teaching kids to read and to write and math and science and understanding American history and having civics so that they understand the Constitution and they understand that our rights come from God, not from government. All these things... You know, all these things are very, very important. And when you divert from that to try to impose an agenda on very young kids, um, you know, that doesn't have a place uh, in the state of Florida. And so we're going to make sure that, that we have, you know, good, solid curriculum and education. And, I, you know, it's sad that, like, as a parent, like, I have to worry about, like, my five-year-old, like, I, can I even let her watch certain cartoons now because you're so concerned about that? That's not right. That's not the way this should be. Um, we should be looking out for our kids first and foremost. And I'm telling you, in Florida, you know, we've been proud to do that. They locked kids out of school for a year in most of this country. We had them in school. We made sure that they could go. We, didn't, we said you shouldn't have to wear a mask for eight hours a day like they make you in New York City. You, if you're three years old, they make the toddlers wear masks. You know, they're talking about now they're trying to do billboards saying people come to Florida, you know, you can, you can say, no, they will, they will muzzle you through force of government. And so we don't do that in Florida. So we're happy to be able to stand up for our kids.